Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your <laughs> fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? DJ Rexy. DJ Rexy. I'm like, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Yo, we got everyone locked inside. You're live and direct once again with the one and only. Yo, it's DJ Raxi. And you guys would just heard what I was just listening to. And you know what? We're going to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Because everyone is, in it? So let's just, let's just, let's just jump, let's jump, let's jump on the bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, everyone's got their own opinions. You know what I'm saying? And because I'm the guy with the camera and the microphone, my opinion is obviously more important than yours. That's why you're watching me and I'm not watching you. No, but really, a real talks here. Yeah. I feel like the situation has got to a point now, yeah, where man like Will, he needs to find the willpower Fire! 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 to just leave the girl. I'm like, it's got to the point where it's not even funny. Like, it's gone past even being a joke. Like, don't get me wrong. I know it is funny seeing someone like acting like stupid or out of character, but really and truly, this ain't looking good, man. Like this ain't looking good. One for the black community. You can't just be having black actors slapping each other on, on live TV. That's bad. Two, it ain't good for the children. Imagine like Jaden and Will Smith and Willow, they're already kind of you you lot know what I mean. They're already a bit too far gone already. You got one dressing up like the other and vice versa. It's all a bit crazy, fam. So they, 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 they're gonna be watching this like, yo, my dad's a bit mad, fam. Like, this is crazy if they don't already think that already. And then thirdly, I'm not gonna lie, like, obviously, it does differ depending on the woman, in it. But like, I don't know. I feel like because man was laughing in the first place, and then he decided to go and step up to Chris and slap him in the face. It's like, well, now nah, you're only really doing it because you don't. You're not really doing it because for me. You're more doing it for yourself. You get me? Because if you lot have seen the video, and I'm sure you have. Video has gone more viral than George Floyd, bro. Anyway, we was actually laughing at the beginning. Like, he's laughing when he says the joke, the G.I. Jane joke. You know, for those of you that don't get it, obviously, um, what's her name? Jada, Jada, Jada Pinkett has got, um, I can't even call her Jada Smith because she, she down bad and in bad. Jada Pinkett's got, obviously, a shade head from alopecia. She had alopecia, she cut her hair off. Now she's looking like G.I. Jane too. Go Google it if you don't want it, if you need more information. In it. That's the that's the joke. Dead joke. One of them, one of them classic school jokes. You know what? You know what the funny thing is? You know what the baddest thing is about the whole situation, yeah? I bet you that if Will never made that much big of a deal of it, right? If he never made that much big of a deal of it, no one would even be dragging Chris Rock right about now. No one would even be talking about the whole situation because some people are dragging Chris Rock saying, oh, he shouldn't have made that joke. It's distasteful. Oh, loads of people die. Loads of people die. <laughs> loads of people get alopecia. You know, loads of women get alopecia. It's not nice to talk about it, but what about when men go bald? Don't, don't, don't women make jokes about men when they start going bald? So is this not like sort of the same thing? Like, and you have to understand, yeah, he's a comedian, yeah. He's going to say something off the rip. You know what I mean? You know, that's what comedians do. You know, it's like sitting in the, it's like going to a comedy show and sitting at the front. You know, you're going to get roasted. The, the, the comedian's going to pick you first. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, let's be honest. Chris could have gone on multiple topics. He could have, he could have talked about entanglement this entanglement that yo he could have got oh my god he could have he could have been dissing will all the way till august like literally he could have been dissing him for a time like about any of those topics and he went with a light joke if you ask me you know what i'm saying but obviously will being will felt like he had to go you know be the alpha male be the big man be the be the alpha male you know i take cold showers you know what i'm saying i sleep on a bed of nails he thought he'd be the big guy right I mean, I eat with I eat I eat food without knife and fork. You know what I mean? Alpha male. He thought, yeah, I'm gonna go out there protect my girl, and she's gonna love me. I bet you she got he got no nookie that night. Jano, I bet you he got no nookie that night. I just I, I just can't see it happening. I can't see Jada cheating on Will Smith with August Alcina, and then like six or seven months later, however the fuck long later, yeah, someone crosses Jada, Will slaps him, and then she's like, oh my god, my hero, my hero. My, oh my god, babe. Oh my god. Like, I just can't see it happening. But all of this, this whole thing, even this video, even probably me being born, could have been avoided if Tupac never died. Fire! <laughs>
Do I sit? If I had the mic in my hand, I'd drop it. Wait. Yeah, that's me dropping the mic. Sound of me dropping the mic. Anyway. Oh, okay, sorry, yeah, for shit. Expensive mic. Anyway. If Tupac never died, check this one. Follow me here. Follow me here. Because we're going back in time here. If Tupac never died, yeah, Jada Pinkett would still be on his ball bag, right? Literally, as opposed to figuratively now, right? Will Smith could have gone and picked any other woman from the 90s who was popping at the time. Who we got? One set. I've got a list here of all the hot girls. There we go. From the 90s. Okay. All suitable candidates that I feel personally are all better than um, Jada Pinkett. So we've got Nia Long, if you know, you know. Taraji Henson, aka Cookie from Empire. If you really wanted to set it off, you could have gone with Vivica Fox. You know what I mean? Vivica Fox, it's in the name. She's a fox. You know what I mean? She's a. And if you really wanted to be dominated that badly, if you really wanted to be dominated that badly, you really wanted to be emasculated that badly, Will Smith, you could have picked Queen Latifah, fam. You could have picked Queen Latifah. She would have at least respected man a bit more. You know what I mean? Like she would have slapped you about in the bedroom, but she would have respected you more. And look, time will tell. As, as time has told, look, who's got their hair? Queen Latifah does, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jada doesn't. <laughs> Yo, I personally think now what's going to happen next is either one of two things is going to happen. Either they're going to come out and try to say that it was all a joke and it was all staged and it was all just, you know, a bit of entertainment to try and boost boost the Oscar ratings or whatever. Or, or what I think is going to happen, what's more likely to happen is it's going to continue happening. Will's going to continue getting drugged through the media. He's going to continue getting humiliated and it's sad man because like this is the guy who's like he's like when you think of Will Smith yeah he's like one of those guys where it's like everyone knows him yeah everyone wanted to be Will Smith when they were younger yeah any ev even the white kids wanted to be Will Smith you know what I'm saying like everyone wanted to be Will Smith when they were younger everyone thought Will Smith was cool like I'm not even certain that I can play Fresh Prince of Bel-Air anymore because people might start looking at me weird you know what I mean like when R. Kelly got cancelled, you know what I mean? I couldn't play Ignition or the remix to it for a long time, bro. You know what I mean? Because people would be looking at me like, uh, why are you playing that pedophile song for? You know what I mean? Now people are going to be like, uh, why are you playing that guy's song who goes up to people at the Oscars and hits them in the face? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be a weird vibe. I hope you're happy, Will. I hope you are happy. I ain't going to lie. Will came in with the we will, we will rock you right into Chris Rock's face. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I swear he's going to be feeling that all the way till late July, August times, 100%. Like, there's no way you can get slapped like that and just recover. Like, I mean, that <laughs> But I do believe the source of the problem is the chick, man. Like, Jada, Jada is the source of the problem. She is the source of the, she is the, she is the tomato ketchup on the fries. You know, she, she is the garlic mayo with the fish, you know. She is the mustard on the hot dog, you know what I'm saying? She is the problem. It's her. She is the issue. The chick. She needs to be taken out of the situation, out of the equation. We all just needs to find a thing that's 20 years younger and just disappear to some islands and have fun. You know what I'm saying? He's done it before. I'm not even gonna lie, like even the girl that's sitting behind Will Smith, you know, the black woman, like she's she's kind of pretty too. Like you could just get with her instead, like. You know what I mean? She's got hair like crazy. You know what I mean? Like this, I don't even know why he even fucking with this bald headed bitch. Before Jada was with Will, bro, she was a few roles here and I think I think actually Set It Off was one of her biggest films at the time like the you know oh Matrix she obviously she was in Matrix but like she wasn't like a main character in Matrix she was like a side character so that doesn't even count I mean even then like even in the 90s she was a side character like, I mean imagine that like usually the 90s is when the actors is when like is that's when the black actors used to boom back in the 90s and even in the 90s she was a side actor so now she's like with Will Smith, she's got bare peas, yeah, because of him. You know what I mean? Let's not let's not try and like debate this. Yeah, she's been in cool, big movies too, but let's be honest. She probably got into most of those movies through him. You know what I'm saying? Because he knows all the people. Look how many movies he's done compared to how many movies she's done and how big those movies actually were. So there's no doubt about it. He definitely brings more to the table than her. And now she's out here cheating. Oh, sorry. Getting entangled with with fucking february and it's all crazy fam it's i just don't know like what's going on it's all it's all a bit up down left and right and i just feel sorry for man like well still i'm not gonna lie like hopefully he sorts it out but boy boy <laughs> Woo. we're all still technically young you know what i mean like he's 53 years old now he's like he's like kevin samuel's age you know what i mean he, he in that he in that bracket him and kevin samuel's didn't have a con hey listen someone tag kevin samuel's in in in, in the comment section yo you need to get Kevin Samuels and Will Smith to have a chat. You know what I mean? Will Smith 
needs Kevin Samuels help. Kevin Samuels, Will Smith needs you. Like literally, it's 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 literally like a a straight swap. You know the America sign needs you. That's what he needs. He needs you, bro. Like he actually needs you, Godfather. So if someone follow Kevin Samuels. Tell them Will Smith needs your help. We need to we need to put it out there. Yeah, Chris Rock. Yeah, he held it down like an absolute G. I ain't gonna lie, like. He must be used to it, innit? Because there's no way he just hold that slap like it was nothing. A man laughed it off. He shrugged it off. Tell me what he did. He shrugged it off. Yeah. Slap hit him. Shrugged it off. Laughed a bit. Made a joke. Made everybody else laugh. <laughs> and then continued with the show. Come on. If that ain't like legendary status, I don't know what is. Like, imagine. Could, could some of you lot do that? And don't think of it as like he was a pussy or he's turning the other cheek. No, 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 no. There's a time and a place. See, a lot of men don't think, oh, i got to go fight right now. But no, 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 no. You don't have to do it like that. Even Will, he didn't have to go to him like that. Will could have gone up to him backstage or after the show and be like, hey, look, I don't appreciate that. Blah, 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 blah. And even if he wanted to really do something, he could have done it then. Off the cameras. You know what I mean? But now it's just like you're uh, what? Six foot? How old? How, 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 how tall is Will Smith? Like six foot two? Now you're like a six foot two, six foot three black guy hitting on a fucking five foot seven black guy. Well done. You know what I mean? It's like... It's like, I don't know, Mark Henry trying to fight Floyd Mayweather. It's a mad team, you know what I mean? Like, that's just, it's just, you know what I mean? It just, <laughs> obviously, Floyd Mayweather probably wins still. But anyway, you know what I mean though, isn't it? Like, the height difference, the weight difference, it's like, what's the point? Like, why would you picking on someone smaller than you? You could have been hitting August, you know what I mean? You should have hit August into September. That's what you should have been doing, you know what I mean? He should have, he should have just slapped August all the way into September. And then that would have been okay, you know what I mean? That would have been suffi that would have been sufficient enough, you know what I mean? That would have been it. We would have been like, okay, Will, you're no longer the fresh prince, you're the fresh king. And that's it, you know what I mean? No, no, that's it, you know what I mean? It could have been that. But nah, he wanted to hit the small guy instead. The guy who's not really going to defend himself, you know what I mean? Chris Rock is a comedian, he's going to make jokes. He says things that are inappropriate. He's meant to make you feel that way. And you know what I mean? And this is like I said, he was laughing. Will Smith was actually laughing. Sorry. Will Smith was actually laughing, so... Probably what happened was you started laughing. You know them ones where like you laugh at a joke, yeah? When someone makes a joke at your girl or like at your friend who's a girl, yeah? And you start laughing and she starts looking at you like, eh, it wasn't that funny. That, that, that's what happened. Jenna, that's what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened. Because it, it doesn't show you on the on the video, but it cut the camera. But all you can see is Jada, she's pissed off, yeah? And then as soon as it cuts the camera, that's when you see Will start walking up. So you don't know, like maybe he was laughing like, ha, ha, ha. And then he went, you know what I mean? Dead, dead. Also, be sure to check out this week, right? It's gonna be the new series of Raxi Reacts, right? This is sort of like a, a sort of interlude thing just to put between the series, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, for those of you that missed the last episode, we reacted to 101 Bars, Asha Far, you know what I'm saying? Go check that out, link in the description below. It's also hit the eye icon up there, all the videos that you may need will be there in the description. But yeah, besides that, I ain't got much else to say, you know what I mean? But don't be out here, don't be out here being made a fool of. That's what I'm gonna say. Don't be out here made a game getting made a fool of. You know what I mean? Because it's it's not it's not a good look. It's not a good look. I mean, stay on your grind. Stay on your purpose. Stay on what's important. And don't lose sight of that. Anyway, we out. It's been Rax.